there, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Today, I'm going to be talking about bakeries in China. Bakeries, because in China, a lot of the time, people just eat bread for breakfast. So they will come to bakeries like this, Paris Baguettes. This is one of the more kind of upscale bakeries. And they'll come here to get their breakfast in the morning. So, like, and, and there's, there's bakeries like this all over China, all over China. Um, they have like so many, so many types of bread you can choose from, so many types of pastries and cakes and cookies, croissants. Uh, you can just see for yourself here. There's even got donuts and cinnamon rolls. Fantastic. Uh, like I said, this is one of the, the nicer bakeries right here. Uh, but I quite like it. It's not too far from my house. And they've got a really decent selection. Now, you need to know that in China, most of your breads and stuff are going to be quite sweet. If you want kind of that normal white bread that you had at home, uh, you're not really going to find that here. Like whole wheat, you know, unflavored bread. You won't find a lot of that here in China. And actually, uh, in a lot of bakeries, they will have things like these little croissant sandwiches and salads and things like that. A lot of the bakeries will have them, although like personally speaking, I think this place does it better than just about anywhere else. So like Italian beef focaccia sandwiches, like that's, that's really great for China. You don't see that in a lot of places. It's really cool. And of course they will have desserts. Uh, it is a bakery, so they will have cakes and things. Uh, there's quite a lot to choose from. Unfortunately, most of them will look better than they taste. They'll be fluffy and airy, but won't be super packed with flavor. And, uh, you know, that that's really a shame. Uh, but they, you know, there are different kinds of bakeries all over China, and I'll take you to a couple more just to kind of emphasize the point of the variety of some of these bakeries and what they have. And like I said, I need to emphasize most of the stuff you're going to find is going to be sweet. So be careful, all right? Be careful if you're a diabetic. <laughs> Don't go into a coma or something. Let's go to the next one and see what it's got. Now we're gonna take a look at what a smaller bakery looks like and the kinds of stuff they will have. Now this will be the same with a lot of other bakeries in China. The one I took you to before was seriously awesome. So here are some egg tarts, which are great. There are lots of different kinds of cakes. Yummy. This one's for old people. Yeah. And uh, some other kinds of rolls, sweets. There's a little sandwich thing over there. Great. And uh, this is what I like. I like these wraps and these sandwiches right here, along with these little things right here. But they do have other things, like this weird kind of like pizza bread, something or other. They do this at a lot, a lot, a lot of bakeries in China. They have these little pizza things. You do have some donuts. Donuts here in China are very, very different than the ones in the USA. They're more bready. They're not quite so uh, fluffy. And uh, you'll also see there's a lot of like different kinds of cookies and snacks that they offer along with, uh, hello there, with uh, like yogurt, things like that. It's cool. It's cool. And yeah, they're just kind of all around. This one's actually got a little cafe inside. It's really, really cool. I, uh, I really like it. It's good, good stuff. Good stuff. One last thing before I go, if you are going to come to one of these places, I recommend you come like right at five or a little bit before five because people, when they get off work, they come to these bakeries and they buy their breakfast. So if you go in the morning, there'll be nothing because it will all have been bought last night. And if you come, you know, past eight or nine or so, there'll be nothing because everybody will have already bought their dinner or their breakfast for the next morning. So definitely, if you're gonna to come to one of these places, come around five, okay? Okay, all right, see you tomorrow.